Hey there, welcome back to Jersey Forge. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to make these Cardinals helmets that I made right out of Jersey Forge and showing you everything you need to know as far as Photoshop and DDS plugin and how to separate layers to show sticker and uh, shell separated and showing you how to do matte and chrome helmets and face masks. So we're going to hop in and this is a PNG file I got right out of Jersey Forge and we see the first thing I'm doing here is selecting the color of the shell so that way I could separate the sticker from the shell and then inverting it so that way I select everything that I want to be the sticker. Then I'm going to windows and channels and pressing that little box with the circle in it to create a new layer from the selection. That will be our alpha layer. The black part will be the shell, the white part will be the sticker. That's very important. So next thing I'm going to do is save it as a DDS. Um, if you don't know what a DDS is, that's fine. I'll leave, um, I'll leave the plugin down below so you can go and download that and I'll show you how to save it correctly so it will be separated correctly in game. What I'm going to do here is just save it and then I'm going to want to go check it just to make sure that the DDS saved correctly. So I'm going to press save as. DDS, make sure it's a DDS. I just have a DDS already in this folder. And then we want to make sure I have this color preset for all my helmets. You could add a preset or not, you can do whatever you want. You just have to make sure that these settings are exactly as I show here. The color plus alpha is really the important one. Now we see I load my DDS over the pre existing helmet that I wanted to replace. And you know it worked if the sticker colors are showing and the shell is transparent. If you want to check and see what the color is correct, you could just press that little purple A in the FIFA editor tool and I'll show you the correct shell color. Now over here we have the different settings for the chrome and matte. If you didn't see that I clicked um, like two below where the helmet was, there's a helmet preset and that's where all of these setting settings are. You can make the shell chrome or matte if you choose these settings and you could also they have the same settings that we have for the shell for the stickers, so if you want to achieve something like a matte shell with chrome stickers, you could do that. Um, and these settings aren't exact. You could always go in and tweak a couple to your liking if you want the reflectiveness to be a little bit less and get more of that gun metal feel, you could do that. So I sped this up a little bit. It takes a while, it's a little annoying, and you're definitely going to mess up once or twice. Um, a tip I have for this is you have to make sure you click off of the number before saving um, and running the game or else it won't save. Just something to be aware of as you make your helmets. I'm doing chrome for these um, and obviously if you want to do matte you could do that. Then I'm going back and getting the RGB colors of the helmet because I want to make the face mask the same color. And we see here this is the matted and colorizer uh, made by Befit I believe. Um, and I just plug in those X, Y, or the RGB colors, and you press convert, and those give you the X, Y, and Z colors that are used for the face masks, and also for the team color scheme, so if you want to change, like, the colors of the primary and secondary, like the sleeves and the accessories, you want the X, Y, Z colors, so this is a pretty handy tool, I'll have this linked too for you. And now we'll see a couple above where we did the preset and the helmet is the face mask. So the first thing I'm going to do is press this little plus button. Um, you can't really see it right now, but it's to the right of the vector parameters. And basically what that'll do is it'll give you an empty array. And you just have to name that metal mask um, to get a chrome or metal-like face mask. like um, Kind of like the Falcons have currently how they have their gun middle face mask. So I just do metal mask, lowercase m, and then if you want it to be very metallic, you press, you, or you make it one. Zero is not metallic at all, and if you want to do something in between, you can do that. There is smoothness reflectance also in there. If you want to change that stuff, you could go ahead and mess around with that. And then for the color, you just copy and paste those XYZ values that you got from the colorizer tool. And that goes, it doesn't have to be a shell color, it could be any color you want. Here we see, we got our nice chrome helmets. It's a fairly simple process, it's just a little tedious to get going. And I'm leaving the Franchise Football Community Discord link below. 
I love it if you guys could get in there and go into Jersey Forge uh, show off and show me what you've been making with the tool. I'd really love to see it. All right, that's everything I got. I'm signing out. If you got anything else you want to see, just let me know in the comments.